So Peripheries is two things. It's a publication and it's a, a poetry series, um, both housed at the Centre for the Study of World Religions. And the poetry series, I think, maybe began in 2017 and it grew out of a informal workshop at the Div School run by Walter, actually. And um, that ended up being housed at the CSWR. And then we got funding to invite poets to workshop with us to come and read and to give craft talks. I think we started with Robin Cost Lewis, who um, is an HDS graduate, actually. And we've had poets such as sort of the highlights for me are Fred Moten, Kavay Akbar, Fanny and Susan Howe, and one of my favorite poets, Robert Haas. It's also a publication, an annual publication. It was actually strangely um, started by another Shera, Shera Telushkin, and I know, very odd, and um, um, Byron Russell. And I think it began in 2017 or 18 as well, 2017 maybe. Um, and I um, became the editor-in-chief, I think in 2019. Initially, it was kind of a thin publication like this, um, publishing um, student poetry and fiction. Um, then it's grown into something more like this. Um, and we publish some of the most famous poets writing in America around the world today alongside student um, students who are writing potentially publishing for the first time. Something that's been important to me is to think about the title which I inherited, Peripheries, and to think about how we could riff off of that um, to publish work that is in liminal spaces between different genres. So we publish poetry and prose, but also experimental writing um, that can't be easily categorized. And we also unusually publish music and video and in this newest edition, dance. Peripheries also includes a um, folio in each edition. And this allows us to publish um, on one specific theme, something that we as the editors couldn't, couldn't do. Um, we invite guest editors to come in and select poetry that might struggle to find an audience otherwise. Being housed at the Harvard Divinity School and the Center of the Study of World Religions, we certainly receive material that is thinking about religion, that is maybe exploring mystical experience, spirituality. Um, a good example of this is maybe that we published a series of poems um, by Kaveh Akbar, um, poems that would then be published in his book, Pilgrim Bell. And those were certainly thinking about his relationship to Islam. It's definitely a theme that we want to nurture and think carefully about. Um, we're careful also not to let it dominate such that it loses its power or meaning or becomes um, tokenistic. But more and more, I want to start trying to solicit a tract poetry that is thinking about maybe liminal, what we might call liminal experiences, which certainly meets the theme of peripherals. The interest in poetry, not only poetry, all creative work from the Div School is overwhelming. It's really overwhelming. People want to be working creatively. And so the Periphery series, both the um, poetry series and the journal, really creates a home for, for that energy at the Div School.